obviously fans are curious about your experiences in CBA because mm -hmm. you just joined um, Celtics from the CBA. How did it feel for you? It felt great. Um, you know, being able to come right back uh, from you know playing over in China and be able to sign with the team right away. It was a, a very pleasant surprise to be able to come back to. What does it mean for you to play for possibly one of the best teams in the league, Boston Celtics? Oh, it's, I mean, it's, it's, definitely, uh, it's definitely one of the highlights of my career, being able to wear a Celtics uniform. Um, you know, it's uh, I, one of the most storied franchises of, of all time, and for me to be able to say that I you know, was fortunate enough to be able to wear, wear their uniform at one point in my career is definitely a highlight. When you, when you talk about Celtics, what kind of things that you, know, you associate Celtics with? You know, just 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 winning uh, the, the the garden, the fans. You know, Larry Bird, uh, you know, Ainge, Garnett, Pierce, all the all the great players that have played there. Um, just you know, tradition. Um, coming back to the CBA question, uh, what was um, in China that was the most difficult for you to adapt to? <laughs> um, I'd say I'd say just the language barrier. I mean, everybody was so nice and, and so accommodating, but you know, there's just not you're just not going to find a lot of people in China that, that speak, speak English. Speak, speak English, and so that was probably the toughest part for me. Uh, other than that, it, it was a great experience. Did you I, like the food though? Um, I <laughs> the, there's certain dishes that I became fond of, but overall the. The Chinese food, I can't say that I loved it, uh, opposed from a couple couple dishes. Uh, what kind of dishes were you really fond uh, of? To be honest, I don't even know what it was. I think maybe, maybe duck, maybe. Duck. Uh, they had a couple different beefs and chicken. I don't know what they called it. I probably don't even <laughs> want to know what it was, to be honest with you. But it was pretty good. They put some, a lot of sauce on it. It was good. How did you like the passion of, you know, Chinese fans for basketball in China. Oh man, it was <laughs> it, it was awesome. I mean, you know, for me specifically, the fans you know that I played for in Foshan were were unbelievable. Um, you know, they definitely definitely made it so easy for me to, to transition and, and be over there. And you know, I <laughs> I know nobody speaks English, but I, I you know I wish I wish that I, I was able to communicate with them and share my gratitude and my thanks for how passionate they were and just how much love they showed me. Yeah, I grew up um, being a Kevin Garnett fan okay. um, since I was 10. Uh -huh. So it really means a lot to me to yeah. be able to see him still play in the league right now. Yeah. What does it mean to you playing along with Kevin Garnett and his defense in the, in the team? Oh man, it's, uh, it, it's, it's again, it's, it's one of the, the, the highlights of, of my career is being able to say that I you know, played alongside one of the all-time greats. Um, just to see his approach that he has every day, whether it be a practice, whether it be a shoot around, whether it be a game, just how intense he is. Um, it's, 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 it's been eye opening to see the, the passion, the intensity he always has. I heard that he puts in a lot of work off court as well, the you know, scenes that fans don't really get to see. Can you talk about that a little bit as he well? He does. I mean, he's always, he's always, you know, get, getting up shots. He's always in the weight room. He's always working on himself, uh, working on his game. Um, he's just, he's just an extremely impressive individual. Just with the amount of success he, he's acquired, uh, where he is in his career, and still every day he comes in, and you would think that he was an undrafted rookie with, with how hard he works. Um, did you talk about your Chinese experiences with him as well? Because he's been to China with an Anta trip, and I participated twice. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you know we uh, not nothing in detail. He he just asked me, you know, where I was in China, what I thought about it, but we, we didn't really get into. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure you know uh, me playing in the CBA is much different, much different than what uh, you know his kind of celebrity tour that he did over there. <laughs> So yeah, um, last question would be, it seems that with the losing streak right now, Celtics is kind of losing a little bit of the spirit. You know, what kind of things that you, you think Celtics need to input um, at this critical moment? Um, man, we, just have to, we just have to keep a good attitude, and, you know, keep, just keep playing. These games come at you so fast and, and there's just so many games and you're going to have points in a season where where you lose a few here and there, and, and this is definitely a, a point where you know we've hit a rough patch, and 
all, all we can do is just keep a good attitude, you know, keep doing what, what we've been doing and, and keep playing hard and, and you know, hopefully hopefully some some of these balls will, will, will roll our way in the upcoming games and we'll be able to get some wins. Thank you.